Hello YouTube, this is Tom Hart 2, returning from our Transformers video view. So today we're going to be Transformers uh, G1 uh, Flame Feather. Yeah, very, uh, very excited game. Uh, mainly because I'm excited for the new, uh, you know, uh, Beast Hunters t uh, toy line is c that's coming out. So I, I, I just have to have, have to get uh, get the original G1 figures at the that uh, the new Predacons or uh, Christmas are based on, yeah, uh, like uh, uh, laser bats, beast modes, ma uh, mainly based on this guy, not uh, uh, this guy's creature mode. So uh, yeah, if you ignore the colors, you can see the ver uh, uh, the resemblance. In fact, I think I got uh, fact, I think I have la laser back mm, mm, uh, on the way. So once I do a review of him, I'll compare these two. Yeah. No, uh, Flame Feather is one of the G1 Fire Cons that came out uh, a year after the, you know, the Transformer G1 cartoon was cancelled. You no, know, after the rebirth. So these guys never made a, a cartoon appearance. Although they did, uh, although the Fire Cons didn't, uh, didn't make uh, hmm, uh, comic book appearances. Now, uh, now the fire cons may, of course, his, uh, his, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, the fine detail of sculpt on his creature mode is very fantastic. Yeah, I mean, so very, uh, organic looking with, uh, looking feathers. Yeah, what, um, yeah, feather, feather like arms right here. Right, and also keeping with a uh, horse robotic look from the uh, from the G1. Also got uh, some cybernetic looking wings on the back. Yeah, very uh, very uh, very cool design. Of course, uh, mine. Uh, of course, my uh, my figure is uh, social ward is uh, all the screws on his is very uh, very you know very rusted. No, but I uh, but I do I really do like it because to me it it, it gives him more gives this creature a lot more detail. Yeah, it, it's, it kind of looks like scorch marks to me. So, uh, um, be, you know, being that he's a creature that can breathe fire, uh, 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 that being that he's a fire con, uh, it real it works. It works. Now the of course, and this time. Uh, of course, uh, the main gimmick for the fire cons, because of my, uh, my mechanism doesn't work anymore, is that, is that there's a little faint wheel over here that can cause you know, sparks so the fly, uh, to shoot out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, basically you just uh, pull out his legs, just like that. Yeah, then, uh, then you just roll, then you take this little wheel on the surface, and yeah, try to roll it down. Like I said, the me mechanism doesn't really work on mine. Yeah, the spark, which is which is actually very common among among uh, among, uh, among firecon figures. Uh, uh, due to due to kids uh, uh, have a tendency to uh, you know, use this uh, uh, over and over until they wear out. As it is happening in this figure, yeah. If you if you do, uh, however, yeah. If you do find uh, find a firecon uh, figure that uh, that, that uh, the spark still works, uh, then you pretty much got a rare one. Now, uh, of course, Hasbro. Of course, this is G one, so anything. Uh, so, so Hasbro this point uh, make the uh, Avot version of these guys called uh, the Sparkabots. And what they do is, is basically reverse with the fire gun. You know, there, there's little cars uh, that you roll, uh, roll back. And when, and when they release them, they, they shoot sparks out, out of the end. Similar, uh, similar like the, uh, you know, the Batmobile uh, type fisher. Yeah, so yeah. That's uh, too bad. Yeah, if I if I get if I get either uh, mm, uh, Cin uh, Cinosaur or 
Uh, or Sparks, uh, Sparks Doctor still works. Yeah, they're now definitely so, uh, de so to, yeah, but, oh well, yeah. As far as our articulation is, Mo, well, it's very lacking. Yeah, his head, uh, his head can move up and down. Uh, arms can also move. Yeah, legs can also move up and down. Uh, t tail can also... And can it, a tail could also move on up down, but yeah, then you expose these little tabs, which pretty much means it makes a fix. Well, uh, but mm, you're not, but you're not getting this figure for plausibility. You're, you're just getting it because you're like the uh, the cool uh, eight, uh, uh, weird uh, eighties gimmick. No, nah, which I really do like this figure. Now, do, uh, do a little size comparison. Yeah, let's bring out a uh, you know, scalar as they're almost the same size of uh, say, uh, same size of each other. Yeah, uh, now the beat. Uh, uh, I'll transform uh, flame feather to his roll mode. Very simple. You put a uh, full his tail back just like that. Full his legs in just like that. And folded arms there, and fold out the, his wings from the back. Fold out his mm, uh, beast head. I feel all right. And believe it or not, this is uh, Flame Feather uh, in his robot mode, which no, uh, not uh, not the pre uh, not the most protected robot mode uh, in the world. To be honest, even even for G1 standards, but. Uh, but I can, uh, but you gotta keep in mind this is from uh, this is because of the get uh, of the the sparking gimmick on here. Yeah, but uh, but I but uh, but I do have a soft spot for the figure. I mean, there's uh, I mean I always think of the fire cons and uh, sparker bots are basically the G1 version of the uh, of the bot shots, uh, which the and the bot, they call it the bot size gimmicks. Do their gimmicks. The robot models aren't aren't that great compared to the uh, to the to the main uh, Transformer toy line. Uh, but uh, but you know, you know kid, the kids don't matter. They, they just look cute. And they're, they're fun to play with. And that's what the that's basically what these were. These guys were. Yeah, there were no uh, there were no adult collect. There were no like. Adult collectors back in the eighties. Uh, you know, I don't think you know, kid, adults who grow up in the in the sixties and seventies won't be interested in buying these things uh, as we do as we adults do now. So yeah, uh, 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 and given the uh, given the uh, given the, what, what what they had to work with, I think they uh, I think it looks really good. And, uh, and, I, and I especially love the. Uh, you know, the face goes really good. You can see the eyes and the mouth. He, the little helmet here. Yeah, he's got little hands. Of course, of course, what I like to do is kind of keep those. Arms forward. Just like that. They kind of, they kind of look like horns on his head. It's... To, uh, to me, I think it looks cool. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I lo uh, yeah, like... Uh, yeah, I do a size comparison. Let's, let's bring out... Yeah. You know, some, you, know, some, you know, breakdown right here. They give you an idea of the size. Yeah, that... Yeah, as far as final thoughts, uh, uh, these are not not for everybody. If you want uh, articulation, yeah, uh, better looking robot modes, even, uh, then pass these guys out. I think about the about these. Uh, these are really for the uh, for a really diehard uh, G1 fans like me who love to collect uh, uh, the goofy uh, G1 uh, Transformer gimmicks. Yeah, so like uh, tw Top Ten, Twitch Twist, and uh, yeah, and uh, run about, uh, run amok. So, yeah, I, I mean, I really do. I really do love that go uh, the goofy looking uh, robot modes. Yeah, they have in the eighties. 
Yeah. Yeah, and they, uh, like I said, uh, and, I, and I'm planning, I'm planning on getting all three, uh, uh, the rest of these guys. Yeah. So yeah. No. Yeah. For uh, if you're a very interesting guy, I I pick them up. I bet. But please, please get in mind that these guys, these figures are actually really expensive. Mm. Do do the do, do the rarity. I see these uh these guys up at eBay go up to like eight hundred dollars. Uh, mitten package. So uh so yeah, these guys aren't cheap. They're, 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 these guys are super rare. No, uh, but if you do have, no, uh, but uh, ten, but if you do get you know, better prices than that, then yeah, absolutely pick them up. Hmm. Yeah, if you like uh, goofy uh, eight, uh, eight, to uh, eight gimmicks, uh, like, like I do, and uh, and that's pretty much it for our video review for uh, you know, flame feather. If you like this video, please show me a description and thank you for watching.